This video covers some of the interesting aspects that one could apply when contacting kids, setting up groups and uploading videos onto Purple Mesh. So I'm hoping it will inspire some of you to start seeing a lot more. Have you starting to construct some activities in Purple Mesh? And please do come and see me if you need any help. And a group, how to start a group in Purple Mesh. So the first thing you need to do is to the, go to the admin section. And once you've established your group, they will be able to get resources that are uploaded from you. So if I go to create group, it will links up to this part over here. And you can see that I've got a coding group, which is the kids that come for coding. So if I go edit, you can see the names of the learners. It's a whole lot of names down here. And here are the teachers that are associated with this coding group. So if you wanted to add an extra name, you'd go add pupil. And all the list of all the learners in our school would be shown over here. So you can see there's Daniel Fora and there's Daniel Munger. They're all here. So every single learner in our school is shown. All you've got to do is then add them to the group. Now, once you've added them to the group, you'll just save the work. That means the group is then active. Now, you... If you want to email any member of your group, so if I wanted an email to be sent to the learners, I would go to the email section, which is this one over here. If you look at my emails, I go to email. It's a part of Purple Match, wonderful tool. And we haven't utilized it enough. You can see it says switch to teacher mode. I'm going to do that. And it allows me to have all the capabilities that one would normally associate with email. If I want to compose an email, I can go to compose. Here, I'm going to look for my group. And that's the learners I'd like to send this email to. And you can see coding group. And all the learners whose names are in the coding group are listed over here. So if I wanted to send an email to some of the learners, but not all of them, I could choose them individually. If I want to send to the whole group, just select add. And then go to the bottom over here, OK, and you can compose your email. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole process of composing an email. You compose it, and then you would press this little button, send, and there's various others. You can see that you can even produce videos that would go to the group. As you can see, I did send a video, so I just wanted to show you that. But I didn't really want to send an email for the moment. But I'll just give you a demonstration of email. I'll just show you an email that was sent. You can go to my sent items. And it says my video for you guys. And this is a video that is honing in on the coding group. So you can Call see this. All right, this. And there's a video playing. I don't really want the sound. But if you see, it's a video that I'm using to teach the learners about HTML. It's the lesson that I gave on the 24th of July. So this is the lesson, and I've uploaded it onto Purple Mesh. How good is that? Now, when you've uploaded to Purple Mesh, you can then interact on that basis. And you'll see that I've also produced a video link and I've created a little blog now you can do lots of those type of things as well you can create I've got a blog that's for the coding group to share their information and that's in the sharing section go to shared blogs and you can see coding group now we're opening it up you can see here there is approved or unapproved this means you have some moderation that if you create a blog you can monitor what the children post if you look at this one you can see that this learner has posted some html code just to remember what was done in class they've put that there just to save their work and to see it's ayan naya so it's wonderful that you can have this you can upload videos this to communicate with your learners we can collaborate on different tasks it's an unexplored dimension of Purple Mesh, the emails, as well as the blogging section. I hope that this has inspired you somewhat to 
get a little bit more involved in Purple Mash. Thank you for watching. I've just realized that I haven't gone and shown you how to upload a video. It's very important that you know how to upload a video. And it's just come at the end of this that I'd realized that that wasn't covered. So in my next video, I'll try to just show you how to do that. I hope that this has given you some interest in using Purple Mash and starting to see the possibilities that it can provide to access the children. The parents can also just access Purple Mash.